Welcome to this flat sum tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to create a slider as you can see here. Um, and we can just go ahead and go into the new UX builder. Here we go. So this is your site. Um, uh, this is the pre-built banner so I'll just go ahead and delete that for now. Just go up to the slider and then delete. And here's your site. So the first thing we can do is to create a new element and then you choose the slider. So here you've got lots of general options for your slider um, which we can go into later. But for now let's go ahead and add something to your slider. So you can either do it there or you can go up to the slider banner on the top. Um, so here you've got the most common two elements and you also got layout variations. But let's start with the banner. And as you can see here, you've got lots of different presets which you can choose from. But you can also go blank and, and add it from the bottom. But let's add this one. So here you can see that you can adjust the height of the banner. Um, uh, I'll have it at 600. And then you can go down and like have a different options for your slider. So you got like you can choose a color. You can maybe we can add an image to it. That's what I'll do. I'll find, yeah, just add that one. And then you can also add lots of different things to it. So you can choose where and how the image is placed and shown, um, as you can see here. And you can also go down and choose an overlay. So you can choose to have a color on top of the image to um, get the clearer text or make the text stand out more. So you also got hover effects. So you can choose a zoom here. And you can also add another one on top of it if you'd like to. So as you can see, it works together quite nicely. And then you've also got a parallax. And you can add borders if you'd like. Um, different types of borders. You can customize it as you want. Let's see if we can take that away. You can also add links and videos. You can have a video in the background. Um, so for now, let's let's go ahead and add something more to the slider. So you can add an image. So we'll select an image to add to it. And here you, see, you, you can see lots of the same kind of options. Um, and also some different ones that are uh, customized for the image one. So we'll add an overlay on this one as well. Perfect. We can choose a hover effect again. You can just you can just see how it works instantly by just going on to it as well, which is really helpful in the live preview. You can choose an animate, you can choose to animate the way it comes in, and you'll see a live preview as you can see, and it works really quickly and swiftly. Um you've got lots of different animate effects here. Bounce up, bounce left, and you can choose whatever option you'd like. You've got links again and position and all that jazz. Uh, up here you can see the slider and you can just drag around and edit and you can um, organize everything up there. So if you go on slider, you can see all the general options again. And here you can choose the way the arrow shows up. Um, and you can choose the, if it's dark or light. So if you've got a light image in the background, for instance, you can turn off the billets if you'd like. Um, and you can, you can choose the style of them and different stuff, uh, as you can see on here. Um, there's lots of different general styles. So basically, that's it. And you can also go on here and go down to your uh, banner or image and delete it straight away there. So it's really instant. and and quick. So if we go ahead and just add add another banner just to have two elements in it and we apply it and update it. And then when you go on the cross there you'd instantly go onto your page and see how it looks. 